Hey everybody, it's the Board Game Blogger. Today I'm here to review Jenga, the special edition Donkey Kong version. And it's really neat. It takes Jenga, which is already a very fun dexterity based game, and really turns it into sort of the ultimate version of Jenga, in my opinion. Uh, the idea is you can play it as just normal Jenga, or you can play it uh, as, you know, the Mario Donkey Kong version. So the idea is everyone's got their own little Mario pieces and they're trying to climb up the tower and how far they go each time is based on a, a spinner. The spinner also tells you how many girders to remove which uh, blocks, they're kind of renamed girders for the Donkey Kong Mario version and then it tells you how far to move your Mario and so the girders are slightly different uh, you know there's uh, you're moving and you're climbing up the tower and so you know, if they're facing, uh, you know, east-west, there's a girder. If they're facing north-south, then uh, there's not, and that's where Mario rests. And, you know, it, it alternates like a normal uh, sort of Jenga stack. And so what's neat is you can choose to pull out, uh, you know, a girder that the opponent's Mario is on, and therefore Mario falls down. So the way this game is won is, you know, if you get your Mario to the top to rescue uh, the princess, then uh, you win, or if someone causes the, the stack to fall, then the person who's highest, not including the person who knocked the stack over, wins. So you can play this with uh, multiple people. Uh, there's four Marios, so it's, it's pretty neat that way. And again, if you don't like that version, you can just play it as a, a normal Jenga, where you're uh, moving out the blocks and trying to uh, you know, place it on top. So uh, how about we take a look and I'll demonstrate uh, just how this new, unique uh, Mario version of Jenga works. But if you like Jenga at all, I highly recommend it. It's really fun. It adds a lot of tension to it. and There's much more strategy because you're trying to you know, position your Mario on a, you know, a, a more safe girder. And you know, you're trying to get your opponent's Mario to keep falling down. So it's a lot of fun. And I... I highly recommend it if you're into dexterity games at all. But let's see how it plays. Okay, so what we have here is the Donkey Kong Mario version of uh, Jenga. So it's, it's a partial play. I've played through a little bit, and now we'll see here. Here we've got the spinner. We will spin it. And we've got, it's kind of right on the line. Uh, we'll spin it one more time. Okay, we've got remove two girders and go up two. So with the, we'll say it was the green Mario's turn. He now has to remove two girders. So we see down here the blue Mario is on this standing on this girder here. So the green Mario wants to remove this one. Now again with Jenga you can only use one hand at a time. You can use both hands in the process but only one at a time. So we'll try and that is, that's really stuck on there. If I try and move this girder, which if I could successfully remove it, Mario would drop down from here to here. So it would be a very good move for the green Mario to do that. Unfortunately, uh, that one's stuck in there too much. So let's try moving this one. Oh, that's kind of risky. Okay, this is easier. So we've got that one. And now we have to put this up top here. So we take down Donkey Kong. And we put him back up there. So that was sort of one. Now he's got a second girder remo to remove. Um, that one's a little easier. and now the green Mario goes up two. So he's currently standing on this girder so he will go up one girder to here and then one more girder so we'll go back to the side. So now we'll say it's the blue Mario's turn. He will spin. He has removed no girders and zero movement. So he does nothing on his turn. It's back to the green Mario. 
and this it spins a little better if we got it on the actual uh, table. But here we got one move one girder and go up two. So this time the green man is going to be really greedy. He's going to try and remove this, and it's just toppling the whole. Maybe he can get it. Um, can remember, you can only move, use one hand at a time. It's kind of moving the block, but it's yeah, not toppling it over yet. I don't know. Looks pretty, pretty bad. Could all fall down, or we can cause the blue mirror to come down. That's moving all over the place. There, we did it. So the tower's still standing, and Mario has now fallen down to this girder here. And, whoops, put that up here. And the green Mario goes up two. So he'll go up one, and you can kind of stand on that girder, and then two. And the game continues in the same way until someone causes the entire blocks to stumble or one of the Marios reaches the top. So I, th I think it's a really neat feature, adding the spinner, adding the Marios and the pegs for the Marios to stand on. If you like Jenga at all, I'd recommend this game. It's a fun dexterity game. Play with, you know, all ages, from ages 7 to 77. Everyone can uh, enjoy this game. I think it's great, you know, it's relatively cheap, and it's, uh, you'll, you'll get your time and your money out of this game, if you enjoy dexterity games at all. If you're just into strategy board gaming, obviously this wouldn't be your cup of tea. Uh, Till next time, have fun gaming.